the dharmarajika stupa also referred to as the great stupa of texla is a buddhist stupa near texla pakistan it was built over the relics of the buddha by ashoka in the 3rd century the stupa along with large monastic complex that later developed around it forms part of the ruins of texla which were inscribed as a unesco world heritage site in 1980 It is believed that the Dharma Rajika Stupa was built over the remains of an even older stupa that had been built by the Mauryan Emperor King Ashoka in the 3rd century. The stupa was believed to have been re-established in the 2nd century CE during the Kushan's era in order to the house of relics of the Buddha which may have been sourced from earlier monuments. Buddhist texts mention that frankincense was used during religious services at Dharma Rajika while the complex was paved with colorful glass tiles. Indo-Greek coins found at the site date from the 2nd century BCE suggesting earliest possible establishment of a religious monument at the site. Small stupas that predate the main stupa are found throughout the Dharma Rajika site. and surrounded an earlier core stupa in an irregular layout it is known that the earliest core stupa contained a pathway for circumambulation that was made of plaster and decorated with shell bangles in geometric patterns the earliest stupa likely had four gates in ideal direction the site came under control of persian sassanid rule and suffered a period of stagnation Large scale developments took place during the late Kushan and Kedarite era which added numerous monasteries and stupas to the site. The site was devastated by the White Huns in the 5th century and then abandoned. Subsequent rulers such as the Hin king Mihri Kula persecuted the region's Buddhists under the reign over a thousand Buddhist monasteries throughout Gandhara are said to have been destroyed. The White Huns destroyed not only the Texlan site but also devastated nearby Peshawar. The stupa was excavated by Sir John Marshall in 1913. The stupa had been looted several times prior to Marshall's discovery and was badly damaged. Marshall noted that a large trench requiring tremendous effort was built at some point in the past in order to loot the stupa's precious relics. By 1934 enough of the site had been uncovered that the site scale could be appreciated human skeletons were discovered in the open area immediately south of the stupa and maybe the remains of monks who were killed during the invasion of white hunts the location of the stupa and its monastic community about 1 km outside of sirkap alliance with ancient kandharan believes that the buddha recommended monasteries should be neither too far nor too close to adjacent towns three distinctive types of masonry in the buildings around the main stupa suggest the contributions of different periods to the building activity dharma rajika stupa is the largest of all stupas in texla region surrounding the main mound is a passageway for pradha krishna the ancient practice of walking around a holy site the stup- stupa's large and and hemispherical mound is damaged throughout the plinth of the mound known as madhi is still largely intact the and mound was made of ashlar stone the stupa's harmika or fence like structure built atop the and as mound has been lost the stupa's southern gateway was initially considered the most important through the destruction to the construction of four smaller stupas to the west of the stupa indicate that this likely become the preferred entrance for those performing circumambulations later constructions around the eastern venue then the shifted the preferred route for circumambulation to the eastern side of the stupa before entering the main scared areas visitors to the shrine from sirkap would pass through a large building now termed building h that would openly display relics visitors likely venerated the relics at building gate before entering the main stupa area 
The stupa was surrounded by a circle of smaller stupas which were built approximately 200 years after the main stupa's construction and were likely constructed together as a part of project funded by a single patron. Additional stupas were built further along the northern portions of the site by various patrons and date from the end of Scythian period. These stupas form a northern avenue that has several small shrines with devotional images rendering the northern avenue as a processional corridor. So early monastery cells near the stupa was built a row of rooms with a veranda. The veranda style was later dropped in favor of monastic living headquarters.